looks a bit rough on this side as well. I feel like this one's gone through things. I've had a very long, hard day. Hey, this is Sharon and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm showing you the do's and don'ts of doing eye makeup on hooded eyes. And when I say do's and don'ts, it's really just a matter of aesthetics. I'm going to do the don't techniques on one side of my face and the do techniques on the other side. And if you really end up liking the don't side, go for gold. There's no right or wrong answer. I'm just showing you some tips and techniques that can really make hooded eyes pop. Before we launch into the tutorial, how do you know if you have hooded eyes? Simply speaking, it just means you don't have a lot of lid space. With deep set eyes and almond eyes, you generally have quite a large lid space. However, with hooded eyes or Asians with small double eyelids, you have quite a small lid real estate. So just some celebrity examples, I've got Mila Kunis, Rosie Huntington-Whiteley and Kira Knightley here as examples of women with large lid real estate. So as you can see here, they've got quite a pronounced eyelid shape. However, if you look at Blake Lively or Jennifer Lawrence, they have the classic hooded eyes. So they don't have a lot of eyelid space, especially looking at Jennifer Lawrence's eyes. You can't really see her lids at all. If we're going to look at Asians, I feel like Jenny from Blackpink is a really good example of an Asian celebrity with smaller double eyelids. So she still has that extra fold that creates the double eyelid, but it's just quite small. And the same thing with Gemma Chan here. However, looking at this next one with Fan Bingbing and Angela Baby, I would argue that these two Asians have quite a large lid space. So they've got really, really big eyes and they've got a lot of lid real estate. So I really hope that helps you determine what types of eyes you have. And since you clicked on this video, you probably know that you have hooded eyelids. So let's just get into the tutorial. I have no eye makeup at the moment, and as you can see, this is my natural eye shape. So I do have some very small double eyelids. I'm gonna do the do's on this eye, and I'm gonna do the don'ts on this eye. So do, left, don'ts, right. And let's just get into it. I always start with eyeshadow. So just getting any medium brown color. I usually use this Zoeva palette, and I use this color called Shared Joy, and just getting it onto an eyeshadow brush, flat eyeshadow brush. And we're going to place this very close to the lash line and just on the lid and sort of moving it up into the crease but blending it out like this so just patting it onto the eyelids it'll look kind of crazy at the moment but we're going to blend it out so basically just pop the color on and we're going to get a fluffy blending brush go in with a lighter brown color so as you can see there's not much left of this but in the same zoeva palette i usually go in with this lighter color and we're going to put that in the crease just to blend out the darker brown that we placed on. And just really following the natural shape of your eyes. Then we're going to get a smudge brush for the lower lash line. Going back into that darker brown that we used on the lids, we're going to smudge that on the lower lash line. And just smudging that along. Essentially what you want to do is pack most of the color closer to the lash line, very much like how you do a smoky eye, and then blend out the color up towards your eyebrows. Now for the don't eye, this is generally how every single drugstore eyeshadow palette instructs you to do it. So a lighter color on the lids and then a darker color in the crease. And I'll show you why that doesn't really work for this type of eye shape because we don't have a lot of lid space to play with. This time for the don'ts, we're going to go for a lighter brown in the lid. So a lighter brown just with the other side of the brush and just place that all over the lid. Okay, next we're going to get a dark brown color. So I'm going into my Smashbox palette and we're going to go into this color here, a darker brown. I'm still going to use a fluffy blending brush and just look at where your crease is and feel the end of your eyeball and we're going to place it there. So this is again how every sort of eyeshadow palette instructs you to place your eyeshadow. So lighter lid color and then a darker crease. And I'll show you why it looks kind of strange on this type of eye shape. God, it's a little bit too dark, but that's okay because we're going to blend it all out. 
I feel like this technique makes your eyes look really puffy and we're just going to blend it out so it's not as sharp and noticeable, but just using a fluffy blending brush, a clean fluffy blending brush, we're just going to try and blend it out as much as we can. So this is what the two eyes currently look like. I feel like this eye looks slightly puffy because of that crease color. Because we don't have a lot of lid space, we don't have like a very pronounced deep set crease, it just makes it look kind of muddy. So I prefer this type of blending, this type of shading, where it's darker at the roots, at the base of the eyelashes, and it blends upwards very much like a smoky eye. Next, we're moving on to eyeliner. I've got two different colors here. I've got a dark brown and a black shade. And I find that the brown color can actually be a lot more flattering than the black because it's a lot more natural and not as stark. So I find that the winged eyeliner shape is the most flattering for this type of eye shape. However, the trick here is to not draw such a thick and pronounced line from the inner corners to the outer corners. So instead, you want to focus most of the eyeliner from the midpoint out. And the reason is because you don't have such a big lid space, if you draw such a thick line, it'll literally take up all of your lid space. So then when you look up, you will literally have nothing but eyeliner. So I'll show you what I mean. So I usually start out from my outer corners and just draw the wing following from the natural direction of the lower lash line. So the angle of the lower lash line, just draw on a small wing. And then from the midpoint, you're going to connect it. Being very careful just to draw a thin line. And as you can see, it hasn't really disturbed the eyeshadow and the brown color is actually quite flattering and neutral and more natural for this look. On this eye, we're gonna go in with black eyeliner. There's nothing wrong with black eyeliner. You can literally do this shape with black eyeliner. Moving on to the right eye, we're going to do the same winged eyeliner, but a thicker line and in black, so let's go. And we're going to draw this from the inner corner all the way out to the outer corner. So here you can already see a massive difference. I feel like the thick black line has really closed my eye up. Because of the small lid space that I naturally have, drawing such a thick line has really left only a tiny little bit, like millimeters left of my eyelid. Whereas on this side, you've got the soft brown and you still have quite a lot of lid space, especially on the inner corners. To me, I would prefer this. But again, there's no right or wrong answer. If you really like this side, go for gold. Another thing I'd like to point out for hooded eyes or sort of small double eyelid Asian eyes is generally putting a black coal liner along the waterline is not super flattering. I actually don't even own coal eyeliner because it, I just never ever use it. But to demonstrate what I mean, I'm going to use the liquid eyeliner and just try and smudge a little bit of black on the lower lash line. From here, I usually either go mascara and real eyelashes or put on some falsies. I actually created a video on how to curl super straight eyelashes like I have, so I'm gonna link that um, for your reference. But today for fun, we're going to do falsies because I feel like the shape of your falsies can really affect the results. So I have two different shapes here. So I've got this one by Petite Cosmetics and they're one of my favorite fake eyelash brand. It's actually founded by Tina Yong, who's also a YouTuber here. And um, a lot of her eyelashes really flatter Asian eyes. So my favorite style is called Muse. And as you can see here, it's quite a wispy style. The lashes itself are quite well-defined and quite spaced far apart. It's not very dense. And the lengths of the lashes alternate. So it goes long, short, long, short, long, short. And I feel like these wispier styles are more flattering because it opens up your eye and it actually allows the lid to peek through the spaces in between the lashes. For the other side, I have these by Ardell. So they're 811. This is still a great shape, but I just don't think it's particularly flattering on um, hooded eyes or you know, us gals with smaller double eyelids. So as you can see, it's a lot denser and the spaces 
between the lashes are a lot closer together and the length is very quite uniform so it goes short to long whereas what you want is short long short long short long short long okay so i've just applied the lashes off camera and i've put a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes of both eyes and this is basically the finished look i feel like the left side or the do side looks a lot more open and with this sort of wispy style of eyelash you can actually see your eyelid peeking through and um, it actually makes your eyes look a lot bigger Whereas on the don't side, I've used quite a dense falsy that, you know, is very short in the inner corner and it goes long into the outer corner. So a very much like a cat eye style. And to me, it's not as flattering. So if I zoom all the way out, you can see both eyes at a distance. And I feel like this side looks a lot more open and this side looks a lot more closed and a lot like heavier. My eyes kind of droop down a little bit more. Whereas this one, I feel like it's a lot more lifted and a lot more just awake, a lot more, yeah, open, wide-eyed. This one's a little bit more, uh, I don't know. It looks a bit rough on this side as well. <laughs> I feel like this one's gone through things and like, I mean, my eyelash is falling off. So that's probably why it looks hella rough. So just to sum up the techniques, I would usually use a darker color closer to the lash line. So place your darker color on your whole lid and then blend out the crease with a lighter color. You can do this with an array of different shades. It's just a sort of formula to follow. And then winged eyeliner, I would only place it on the mid to the end and a very, very thin line so it doesn't close up the eye. I wouldn't draw it from the very inner corner all the way out. And on the lower lash line, I would just smoke out the color that you used on the lid just for continuity's sake and I would stay away from black coal liner on the waterline. And then for eyelashes, I would pick fluffier, wispier styles where the eyelashes are more further apart so you can actually see your eyelid peeking through. Whereas something super dense like this, you know, it could be good for Halloween, but not so much just like an everyday wide eyed look. But yeah, I'll zoom you guys out now. That brings us to the end of this video and I really hope that these tips and techniques help. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. If you really like the look of the don't side, honestly go for it. There's no judgment from anyone. You should have fun with makeup and it really depends on what you personally like and what your personal aesthetic is. If you enjoyed this video, I post fun and smart beauty content every Monday. So if you like stuff like this, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and um, I'll see you next time. Toodles!